Just west of Togiak is Kalukik Bay, home of the gillnetters. At just nine metres, the gillnetters' boats are half the size and price of a seiner. They're built to handle the bumping and scraping that comes from working in the rocky shallows. Well, I prefer gillnetting over seining because I come from no money. That's kind of what I was born into was gillnetting. Gillnetters are known to get down and dirty, working both day and night, packing four to five tons per set. Nothing like going to the tender pig loaded. Or until the boat's about to sink. Biomass is approaching the shallows and looks Just good. another beautiful day in Tokyo. The biomass of herring have begun their approach to the shallows. Crews across the fishery gear up for the frenzied start of the season. 24227. Over on the gill netter, Jimmy Jeff 2, a 100 fathom net is loaded onto the roller. It's our lucky net. Yeah. Captain Jeff Songstad is known for his hair trigger temper. Look at the back of the boat. When it says Jimmy Scotty, we'll do it that way. Until then, we're doing it my way. He's been fishing his way in Togiak for 14 years. It's a lifestyle. It's a way better deal to work for yourself, no matter what you're going to do. Oh, yeah, yeah! God, I love fishing like this. First set of the year, you know. I'm getting a little nervous. But I like it. Captain Mark Birddog Ludwig steers the crew of the Eden into the rocky shallows, where prime fish will be swarming to lay their eggs. Let's go see if we can get inside that ball. He's hoping to pack his boat with 500 tons of herring, which would earn over $62,000. A lot at stake. Bills need to be paid. Money time right now. So we're gonna try and cut this gap. Maneuvering near the rocks is dangerous, but it could net Captain Mark prime rule. There's just no room for mistakes right now, so... So I'm gonna try and get by this buoy. Tell me when I'm clear! Let me know! Captain Mark and the Eden are off to a rocky start. That looks like a port side to me. I'll be all right. We get a rock. We maybe roughed it up a little bit. You gotta know where you can go. Looking for leaks. Word comes over the radio that the row are not ripe. 6% body weight is just over half of what they need to make a profit. Despite the report, Bird Dog gambles on gut instinct and decides to set. The fish are here right now. It's time to make money. It's bottom line. Meat and potatoes make money now. Put it in, boys. Coming up on the boy line. Right now, the net's out, the whole hundred fathom. A gill net is an undersea wall of nylon mesh, dropped directly in the herring's path as they go to lay their eggs. The openings are wide enough that the herring can swim in, but not through. When the herring try to swim backward, their gills are snagged on the webbing, hence the term gill net. To haul the catch weighing up to 4,500 kilos, a hydraulic-powered drum both reels in the net and shakes the fish loose. So far, we're at seven tons. We're going to get a sample and bring it to the tender, and they're going to check them out. The Eden has 6,300 kilos of fish. If the row is ripe, it'll earn them a quick 2,000 bucks. If not, the loss in quota could cost them nearly as much. North of Kalukik Bay, small catches of herring are being tested for ripeness. 
That's just what we want for a sample. There's the eggs. That's what they're after right there. Gold mine right here. Anything topping a 10% average means the eggs are ripe. The time to fish is now. 400 million herring can't be wrong when it's time to It's time to Ah, <laughs> uh, we got the gun that's going off. Right here, right here, right now. Look at that. There's a nice big juice ball right there. Throw it! Throw it! The gill netter, Jimmy Jeff 2, cast their nets for the first time this season. Even has begun. Yes. Right on top. Yeah. Looks good. Now it's a cat and mouse game between Captain Jeff Songstad and the herring. There's a big ball of herring here, right? Right in our net. Jeff maneuvers the boat, attempting to herd the herring into nets. It's a tricky move. If he cuts across the school, he could scatter the fish and lose the whole catch. They know I'm coming. They smell a rat right now. Get him! There, there, look at that! It's stomp! Yeah! Yeah! Get in there! Yeah! This way? But right. we have it because it, it'll beat the fish out of the net. You see the way this fish will come up like this? We'll be... This thing will violently shake it out. A quick fix from deckhand Scott Bacon has the beater working properly, and the Jimmy Jeff 2 is back in business. Yeah. See the way that net works? Oh, yeah, we got him! <laughs> yeah, this is a good set, we're getting him. The Jimmy Jeff 2 crew brings in a four-ton set. It's a quick 500 bucks, but a long way from their goal of 400 tons for the season. We pulled this off perfect, except for the beater hooked up backwards, which I can't, I'm embarrassed to say that. <laughs> 